ladies and gentlemen, it's Kathy Lee. Researching existing bottles that's been on the market, and also sold a competitor's product for a few years, and saw that the customer response rate was pretty high and favorable. So I decided to invent my own by cutting down the number of parts from the, uh, the competitor's product, and also by um, making a pressure equalizing vent on my bottle, so which is an to feed in an upright position. And 
and that could help decrease ear infections because of the drainage in the upright position. And also with the lower, uh, with the internal straw, it decreases air consumption. So that helps decrease ear infections too. And the apparatus fits into all standard bottles. So it can convert a standard bottle into a hands-free bottle. transitional design. The proprietary part is the tubes, the hands-free part, and fits into any standard bottles to convert it into hands-free bottle. And with the bottle, the baby can use it up to one year, and it converts to a sippy cup by adding modular parts, which are the handles, and then the baby can use it when it grows into a toddler. So you get about three years of branding with this bottle versus a traditional bottle where baby only uses it up to one year. And it's eco-friendly and these are reusable disposable parts. This is a comparison chart. The sip and sip bottle, we plan to retail it at anywhere from ten to twelve dollars a bottle. And currently the top selling bottle is AVENT, which is second on the list. Um, it doesn't have any of the features that the sit and sit bottle has. And AVENT's been doing pretty well. It was bought up by Philips Electronics um, a couple of years ago for close to $600 million. And the traditional feeding, there's disadvantages because of the rigorous feeding schedule for the first six months. And each feeding can take up to an hour. There could be carpal tunnel with mothers holding the bottle and babies getting cut pallets by popping the bottle. And this is smarter feeding. Um, mothers can work while the baby's feeding. And um, she can go outside of the home. <laughs> She's not confined to the house. <laughs> Marketing strategies. Um, we plan to be compatible with the top selling bottles on the market, and I've listed a few there. And the baby bottle industry is about 1.3 billion in sales worldwide, and we also fit into the ready-to-use infant formula bottles, Simulac and Infamil, and they're about $5 billion industry in the U.S. And then second phase is to um, license out other products too. Get the magic button. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, there was one last time. Well, you'll probably have to move it. Don't move it. She said, wait, help's coming. Thank you. Oh, shit. Yeah.